morning. Cindy Berkland here from cindyberkland.com and let's get right into it. Today I wanted to talk about a story um, on the news that I saw an article and it's, it was really about the rent situation that's going on across our country. Rent is actually becoming a national epidemic. Um, what we're seeing right now up this year, rent is up about 22% on average. Um, but it's actually even worse in some parts of the country, like Long Beach, California. Rents have gone up 52% this year. Um, Orlando has gone up 37, uh, 38% this year. Cincinnati's gone up 37% this year. And so on and so forth. A lot of the bigger cities, uh, it's getting even worse. And, you know, this gentleman was going on to talk about um, when people get priced out of the rent market, the next thing they do is, you know, they buy an RV um, and actually live in an RV, um, like the kind that literally have wheels and you drive around. And they're saying in some of the larger cities, there's not plumbing um plumbing and sewer situations for enough of these RVs. They're seeing a mass amount of people living in RVs and the plumbing situation is just horrible. Um, It's causing the cities to just smell awful because there's just not the proper situation as far as plumbing goes. And, you know, the next step on that is, you know, renting a room from people. And the next step on that could be homelessness. And, you know, this is, you know, they were trying to do something about this uh, a couple of years ago, and a lot of hedge funds started working with builders um, to build properties to rent. So instead of builders building single family residences, they're now building single family residences specifically only for people to rent. And to me, I was like, wow, this whole concept of the American dream, owning your own home and all this stuff is really going out the window. And uh, what we have now is the millennials, um, who are the largest age group that we have, there are 7.2 million uh, millennials versus 770, I'm sorry, 72.1 million millennials versus 71.6 million baby boomers. So millennials are now the largest age group that we have. And what we're seeing is a lot of millennials are completely priced out of the housing market. And if this is a concern for you, um, I'd like you to get a hold of me at cindyberkland.com and let's work on some solutions. I know this is something that is becoming more and more of a problem, but you know what? There's always a solution. So get a hold of me at cindyberkland.com and let's have a conversation about how we can get you into a house if you have not yet purchased one.